Hey, hello everybody, it's the Last Raider. We are back again with another video, and we're back in Missouri, Missouri. Uh, yeah, this state is based. BLM, Antifa, y'all need to really think about it. This is the one, this is the one battle y'all don't want to fight, okay, is my state. My state will not take your shit for very much longer, all right? You are going to have a fight on your hands that I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to handle, all right? And this is where this is where it's quickly going. Don't put your faith and trust in local officials because what you're about to end up with is the people fighting you because we're about to have enough of it. Here we go, Eminence, Missouri. And I think this is something that's going to start broadcasting across the state as people start seeing success because this town saw it. Okay, Eminence, Missouri. Crowds have gathered in Eminence, Missouri in anticipation of a protest Sunday, Saturday afternoon in Shannon County. A protest was planned in response to a death investigation dating back to 2018. A local family is concerned with how the case has been handled by the Shannon County Sheriff's Office. And, and later in the article, you're going to see what the Shannon County Sheriff's Office has to operate with. And you'll understand why the case... Pro it, it's reasonable, okay? It's reasonable. But they're probably claiming racism is the reason why. And it's like, uh, I'm sorry. When you, when you see the resources this Sheriff's Department has to work with, you'll understand why. The Shannon County Sheriff says credible threats were made against him, his deputies, and jail staff, including threats of harm and threats to damage the courthouse and other buildings. Sheriff Darren Barley says he, received, he reached out to state defense forces ahead of Saturday. Um, state defense forces in Missouri... They're, they're the only state defense forces that you would really know of are militia. That's who he's turning to. He's pretty sure he can't get officials, the governor, all of them. He's pretty sure he can't get them to help out because they're kind of cucked at the moment. So he just basically reached out and said, any man that's willing to bring arms. Missouri has a state militia, well, not a state militia. There are militia trying to become a state-recognized militia, and they have a large presence. They are Missouri's biggest militia, and they have a huge, I can't remember what the number is, but it's in the several hundreds of guys, it's several hundred people. So they can go into a small town like this against a small protest force like BLM. If they bring in like a couple hundred people to start a problem, these guys can respond with overwhelming force in these towns. Now, in areas like St. Louis, that would be more difficult. Uh, you would expect the police to do something, but eh, that, that's that's how it goes in those bigger cities. There, But let me be frank here. When you see the result of what happened, uh, you'll understand this is going to be the solution if these officials, such as the prosecutor, the, what is it, the district attorney in St. Louis, the mayor, the governor, if y'all don't start getting off your ass and doing something, these people will find a way to fix it. Someone will have a solution to the problem you're unable to deal with. Anyway, the Shannon County Sheriff's Office includes the sheriff and only three other deputies. In other words, four people are running the sheriff's department. That's why the case probably isn't doing very good. They're understaffed and probably underfunded. There are towns like this in Missouri that have... Uh, there's one town that is close to me. They have only one police officer uh, for a couple hundred people. They, they only have one. And they can't get the funding to pay more police officers to show up. So it's just one guy at a police station, almost. If not, maybe a second volunteer police officer who's working. I think they have maybe one more guy that comes out of re that came out of retirement for a while. But that that's it. That's all they've got. And if they needed force to stand up to a protest, they probably would end up doing the same thing this town's doing. They say on here, um, at least 100 people have gathered in downtown Eminence around the Shannon County courthouse and surrounding areas. KY3 observed some people carrying weapons around the area. Yeah, um, here we go. People have traveled from St. Louis area who have seen the riots firsthand, know what BLM is going to do, so they're, they're showing up to help defend. The Joplin area from down, uh, let's see, Joplin, Missouri. Yeah, over in Joplin where they had a, uh, what was it, an EF4 tornado hit. And there were people from my area, from the boot hill, who went over there and helped clean up. So they're sending people in. And then also other places north of Springfield. 
They're all here, they say, to protect the town. In other words, a call went out, troops came in from everywhere. Basically, Minutemen, irregulars. This is what it's going to take to stop BLM, is the militia. And you're going to see this probably pushed back by the militia eventually. You're going to see a reinstatement and a re-ignition of the militia. You know, used to back in the country before the Civil War and before FBI went after militias like crazy and made it gave them a bad name, militias were considered the primary defense force of the country. And now, once again, militias are the primary force. This is who they're calling on. Average, everyday person, people. My, I showed this to my wife. She said, so they call people in like you. I'm like, yeah. Just regular Joes, people who can build, probably have some skill, but can pick up a rifle and fight. That's who they're calling in. This, If this should not scare the governor and the mayor and the district attorney in St. Louis, nothing will. Okay? Because when these guys start doing your job for you, people start asking, why should we give you tax money? Okay? <laughs> this is where it's going, okay? Your tax money is in jeopardy, okay, folks? You need to get control of BLM and Antifa and prove that there's a reason people need you. Otherwise, somebody else will pick up the job you don't want to do. But, continuing on here. See, this is Eminence, Missouri here. You can see we got plenty of armed guys out here. Multiple. Multiple. We've got looks, looks like guys here that are armed. Four or five people there armed. One, two, three, four, five more people armed. So it's just out in the front of the court uh, courthouse here. You have like almost 15, 20 people armed. And then we've got, let's see, what else do we have here? This looks like it's continuing over. We've got more people armed here. Some guys with handguns, many people with rifles. Like, they're not taking your shit no more. This this dude right here <laughs> is just, he is ready for war, man. He's got the Rambo bandana going on. He He's ready, he's ready to do something, dude. I mean, you can see these guys. These are guys, this dude in the white t-shirt here looks like my cousin. Okay? These are just average guys, and look, they're all armed. AR-15, 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 AR-15. Glocks, all right? These are the people that BLM are trying to pick a fight with. But, hey, you know what? Let's go on here, and you'll see exactly what happens here at the very end of this. Let me see. Is it down here, or did I read through it all? I guess I read through all of it. But anyway, from what I understand... Of this, I mean, look, you've got a family here that is going through issues right now, okay? They're going through issues. Look, you can see people up top, militia guys right here in the alleyway, secure position. They're, they're waiting for them. Apparently, BLM did not show up, okay? Whoever was making the threats to, to cause unrest, they didn't show up. They probably heard from groups on the ground to probably have spies that move in and scouts went in there and saw it and said, dude, there's too many fucking rifles here. We start something. It's going to be a massacre of us. Let's go somewhere else. And so they're running off to a different town. This has now become a legitimate strategy to countering the riots and the protests. Or, or not even protests. These are riots. Okay? These are riots and terrorist activities. This is the, this is the counter to it. You just send in some average Joes with AR-15s, and the mere presence of them makes these people melt into the black. All right? But like I said, this is going to become that legitimate... Okay, here we are. There's another one. You can see more dude. People here are just ready to go. Okay? And you're seeing this. This is the... I have to say this. They're just going to roll this big guy down the hill after him. They're They're... P BLM, if they had showed up, they'd have rolled this big bastard down the hill at him with an AR-15, and he'd just bowled him like Harold did all the kids in Hey Arnold when they go to the island with a penny, uh, counterfeit penny people, <laughs> send him in. But you look at this. These are average people. They don't want to see a place get destroyed. And that's what BLM does. You guys, BLM brings death. They br have brought death. They've brought destruction. They have brought cowardice and terror to every area that they have gone to. They've burned shit down. These people are saying enough is enough. The sheriff has said, look, I need soldiers. 
I don't need deputies. I need soldiers. I need a militia. And the militia has responded. The governor won't respond. Um, going back to the two people, the Ken and Karen, they said that they called the police. They called their own gated community security. And nobody would show up. When the cops won't show up, when your security won't show up, the militia will show up. That's what we're seeing here. The militia will take the job of defending your town and they will take it seriously. They will defend it. There will be no burnings. What is the, um, there's a gun company at one point in time, I think it was either Daniel Defense or someone, who put out a an ad right when Antifa was getting started and it had four or five militiamen standing there with AR-15s in tactical gear and Antifa just staying back, screaming, but not moving forward. And it said at the bottom, not today, Antifa, not today. This is going to keep happening. You're going to see a resurgence of the civilian militia. And when the civilian militia comes up, the people are going to remember, hey, you know what? Uh, We pay all this money. You want to defund the police? This is how this is going to defund the police. All right. And in a way that BLM doesn't want, because now you're going to have an armed militia, basically a military organization or somewhat of an organized military moving in and taking the job of policing. You're still going to have a police force, only this time you're going to have a police force of just regular Joes, people who will come out there and they'll enforce the law, whether you want to or not. And all they got to know is, hey, is BLM coming? Yeah, all right, get the get the reinforcements. Summon the reinforcements, men. We're sending in the rest of the Raiders, all right? This is a, this is a Missouri tradition dating back to the Civil War, Okay. When, when war broke out in Missouri, militias jumped up. There were more militias in the state of Missouri than there was most of the country. There were irregular units everywhere. Um, to give you an idea of just how much trouble they can cause, look up the Battle of Chalk Bluff. Okay, It's a Civil War battle in which the Union had overwhelming numbers and they were still forced to fucking retreat <laughs> to a bunch of farmers, herders, uh, blacksmiths, hunters, poachers, and smugglers, okay? They whooped the crap out of a bunch of Yankees and sent them packing and were severely outnumbered, okay? In fact, the Yankees didn't just charge in. They got them cornered. They didn't just charge in. They amassed troops and tried to zerg, and they still got their butts kicked. For those of you who don't know what a zerg is, it's just hitting with maximum numbers and overwhelming a position. Just basically, you just start sending bodies in, and you just you basically bury the enemy in dead bodies. That's uh, that's what the Union had decided to do. They were so sick of Quantrell, Jesse James, many others. Those guys were involved in that battle. It was one of Jesse James's big fights, and it's it's a very legendary fight. There's there's not as much information recorded. I wish there was, but there's a lot of just you know myth and mystery to it. it's great. But you have this, like I said, the militia is coming back, and the left is pushing it. You've got the left's militia who can be run off by two people with guns. And then you have the American militia, the Missouri version of militia. And they will come out in force. They have so far, Missouri's, Missouri's civilians are, o, are two for whatever. Right now, the, the final pushback, when Missouri citizens have finally pushed back, they've obtained two victories so far, they're undefeated. And this will keep going, okay? If if this town does it, there will be towns nearby that will do the same thing. Because BLM and Antifa have done said they want to go into rural communities. This is what's coming for you, BLM. This is what's waiting for you. Enough armed rednecks who just don't give a shit, okay? And Eminence, Eminence is not even that uh, big of a town. They're, they've got nothing major industry going on, as far as I know. Eminence is just a town where you... How do I put this? Well, here. Let me just reverse this back once. This is this is what Eminence, Missouri is. Okay, let me just come up here to images. So you guys can see what, what they are. It is basically uh, a rural community that has a lot of historical sites on it. Like, this is what you expect to see in Eminence. Uh, Alley Spring Mill. For instance, is there great place to go to? Check this out. 
Nope, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> what is it? Okay, here we go. Alley Spring Mill. Like, beautiful. Look at this place. Beautiful. Little area in eminence. Blue water, because it, it comes from like a spring. That it, it, it is a beautiful place to go to. Go to. This, this is one of their primary things. It's tourism. That, that's what they get. Okay? BLM says they're showing up. They're getting a response. They're getting a militia. Um, I think you are going to see this. Uh, you're going to see more of this show up. You're going to see more people pushing back against BLM like this, especially in Missouri. Here, but here's this place. I've been here before, Big Springs. Uh, that is not a torrent uh, right here, this photo. That Big Springs is one of the largest freshwater springs in the U.S. Okay, it's, it's in Eminence, Missouri. Uh, it's one of the reasons why if you look at a map, when they project you know water usage and water shortages in the next... Uh, 100 years you don't see missouri run out of water like the map goes across the country sucking up all the water and then it hits missouri and just kind of coves around it because missouri has such a large fresh water supply uh if that ever happens missouri is becoming a a place where people will live it'll become a mega city if that projections are correct but this is this is what's over in missouri it, and that's awesome because that place there if you're looking at a place to go big springs uh near van buren and all that other place it is the the water is coming out of the ground so fast. Like there's so much of it. It's actually just pushing up out of the water. It, it actually lifts up off the surface to a point. It's so massive. But th this is what makes Big Springs like tubing. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a vacation spot and BLM wants to come in there and tear the place apart. It's not going to happen. They've done, they've done said, you know, we're going to pull in the militia and they had success unless BLM can run off the militia, the Missouri militias. This is the way to beat BLM in the state of Missouri, okay? And this is what we're going to do. We're going to break out the militias and we're going to fight back, all right? Nobody's talking about this. Nobody is talking about the militia in eminence Missouri uh, going out there, kicking people's butts, taking names, and running people off, okay? <laughs> Just, I mean, this is, this is what's waiting for BLM when they show up, all right, uh, is a godforsaken militia coming out here just saying you know what f you guys this this is what you're this is what you're going to get you're going to get a bunch of rednecks with guns most of them if you look these are scoped guns these are the guns they take out deer hunting which means they're fairly proficient with them and i don't care how many bad dudes you're going to pull from chicago you have the Bloods and the Crips take on these guys. They'll just drag them out in the woods where they've got ghillie suits, most of them. Which, by the way, can I mention one more thing? In Missouri, we force our hunters to wear fluorescent orange during hunting season. Do you know why? Because, one, there's a lot of them out there. And, two, these guys are so well camouflaged while they're deer hunting. You can be... It's, it's not uncommon to be out there in the deer woods in Missouri, see a deer, set your gun up to shoot, and nine rifles go off in your right close to you and then everybody is griping at each other and arguing over who shot the deer okay <laughs> we make people wear fluorescent orange because you can't see these bastards when they're out in the woods so if you're not wearing fluorescent orange you could probably get shot or you could probably end up killing somebody else's deer but you didn't know it was their deer until they shot anyway folks um yeah the, the militia in the state of missouri is making a comeback all right, and uh, I, for one, welcome it because guys like this, I work for guys like this, and I've worked with guys like this. You can trust a lot of them, all right? They're hardworking men. They'll get the job done. Anyway, I'm the Last Raider, folks. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. helps me out a lot. It boosts the channel video, and I love it when I see those numbers tip up past my subscriber count. I love that. Get me a, let's get up past subscriber count again, because I'm loving it. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments, and as always, stay safe, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.